What up, what up? Welcome back to the series on our VirtualBox Home Lab build. So in this video, I'm just going to be going over the network topology and the name of this home lab will be called Purple-ish Teaming Lab because it's only purplish. It's not exactly purple teaming, but it's kind of purple teaming. You know what I mean? Apart from that, let's get into the networking with VirtualBox. So we are going to have three interfaces in a sense. Well, three network adapters. We're gonna have our host only adapter one, host only adapter two, and then NAT, right? The host only adapter is so that the machines on those networks or those interfaces don't have internet access, right? They can access and talk to each other, but no outside resources can access them, nor can they access outside resources that's for safety reasons and then our kelly instance is going to have a net adapter as well so that it can access the internet you're going to want to do some google searches when you're trying to explain the machine right so we have our host only adapter one that's going to be our main network and it's going to have the side range 10 0 2 1 to 24 and on that main network we're going to have our kelly instance security onion that's going to be sniffing the network and then the vulnerable machines on the network so you can either choose to put machines from Vulnhub or have an active directory type setup and then on our host only adapter 2 this is going to have the CIDR range 10.0.3.1.24 and this is the security onion management network so it's going to have security onion and our analyst VM so that we can actually access security onion using the web console and look at the logs and all that good stuff and then the net instance is going to have our internet connection for our Kali machine so that we can actually do a bit of Googling when we are doing the exploitation. So this is the topology. Well, kind of, it's not as great, but this is how it's going to work. So we're going to have our interfaces, right? Host only. So all the network's going to be going through the host only adapters. So we have two host only adapters, host only one and host only two. All right here you see one and host only two. Those are going to be our network adapters and all the traffic is going to be going through those. So our Kali Linux machine lives here and it's going to be accessing the vulnerable machines down here. And they're all going to be on the network or in the interface or the network adapter host only adapter one. Right. But while we're accessing um, the vulnerable machines from our Kali Linux, Security Onion is going to be sitting in the middle sniffing the network, right? So it's going to be logging everything, uh, making alerts and all that good stuff. And so once we are done uh, exploiting the machine or the network or whatever we're doing, we can look at the logs generated in Security Onion using our analyst VM. And so host only adapter to is our management interface, like I said. So that is why the analyst VM only has this host only two network adapter. Now, when I was testing this, it didn't really work with just the host only two. We might have to put both host only one and host only two, but we'll be testing out that as we go and see what actually works. But for now, we only put it on the host only two. That is the network topology. And the last thing we wanna do in this video is just set up the host only network adapters in our virtual bus. So here I have VirtualBox, I have a couple of VMs here. Most of them are inaccessible because I have not plugged in my hard drive. So I will click on file and then host network manager or control H if you like keyboard shortcuts. And as you can see, I already have two of my adapters here. And to create an adapter, you just click on create. It's gonna prompt you and you just click yes and it'll create the adapter. It's gonna take a while, but here we go. We have our adapter. And what you wanna do here is configure it manually, right? And you wanna enable DHCP. And it says, fail to save DHCP parameter. That doesn't matter, it's gonna fix it. So, now you configure manually and then since I have already used these side ranges, but you can use whatever side range you want. But this is what it's going to look like. We can change this to 
4.1 and then we can also config with the DHCP server. So this is going to be the DHCP server address. We can change this to fit our side range. And so this is where our DHCP server is going to live. So if you do a sudo arp scan tag l the list your network connected devices you can leave this alone because you know that this is the DHCP server so you don't need to attack it right so the lower bound address would be probably what you want it to start at because then the first address or the first item that connects to the host only adapter would then get this address right so if we choose um maybe 10 whatever connects first to the host only adapter is going to get that address and then if we copy this and then the last would be 254. Before we save, one thing I did forget to mention is that this is a slash 24 network, right? So what we want to do here is put a 255. Then go back here as well. 255 and apply. It'll prompt you again and you're good to go. These will be your network adapters. So you can do that for two network adapters and have two set up. You can have more if you'd like. Just depends on the configuration you'd like to go for. But that is it for the network topology for now. I'll see you in the next video.